In this video, I'm going to share with you four things that will absolutely get your YouTube channel deleted. You can see I manage multiple YouTube channels, four main ones to be exact. So I understand the time, the hardships, the stress, the struggle that goes into growing and building a successful YouTube channel. I will share the one that I see most often at the end of this video. Thumbnails, thumbnails, and more thumbnails. Don't post a thumbnail on YouTube that fits any of these below. Anything that's related to pornographic, violent imagery, intended to shock or disgust, graphic or disturbing imagery with blood or gore, thumbnails with vulgar or lewd language, or here, thumbnails misleading viewers into thinking they're about to view something that's not in the video. If you do any of these things, YouTube says we may terminate your channel. External links. A lot of times you like to put external links and pin them in your comment section or in the description box. How about this one? Links to websites or apps that install malware. Links to websites or apps that spread misleading or deceptive content. This applies to video, audio, video description descriptions comments, pinned comments, live streams, and any other YouTube product or feature. Now, these are just a few examples, so do not put any questionable links anywhere on YouTube. If you do any of these things, YouTube's going to send you a nice email. If it's your first time, you'll likely get a warning with no penalty. And if not, they may issue a strike against your channel. Three strikes within 90 days and your channel will be terminated. Number three, spamming. I see this all the time. For example, clicks to get viewers to go off of YouTube, promising that they will make money fast. How about misleading metadata or thumbnails using the title thumbnails description to trick users into believing the content is something that it is not? How about comments? I'm sure you have seen this before too, where the sole purpose is to gather personal information and drive them off of YouTube or to another YouTube channel. Repetitive comments, you know those sub for sub comments? Don't do it. Let me show you a cool little trick right here. Here we are in YouTube studio. Go to the gear icon on the bottom left hand side. Next, we're going to go to community. You can see all of these users right here that I have hidden on this channel. I block anybody that does spammy content and you can do the same or anyone that leaves inappropriate stuff on this YouTube channel. It is not allowed. You can also block certain keywords. So for example, sub for sub or hug for hug. I've also blocked links. And if someone posted them, they will be held for review by you. And by the way, the sub for sub will definitely not grow your YouTube channel. Think about it. Why would you want a bunch of people subscribing to your YouTube channel who are also trying to grow their own YouTube YouTube channels. You see the conflict of interest there? You want true people and audience that are consumers, not necessarily creators, unless your target market are entrepreneurs. And last but not least, one of the things that I see most often, the spamming one is very common. Let's go to customized channel. Let's go to content. And let's just go to this video right here about removing copyright claims. By the way, any sort of copyright on YouTube without getting permission is not allowed unless it is a creative commons license, which I won't dive into in this video. But look at this description box right here. It's laid out. I'm directing people to check out different playlists, subscribe, my Amazon store. I have a freebie for you, eight tricks to help you leave your nine to five faster. But check out this tags box right here. You can see I only have one tag here. Let's move over to this video right here, how to hide YouTube subscribers and go down to tags. Do you see all of these tags? What if I went ahead and just copied all of these tags? Let's just go ahead and paste these in here. This is called keyword stuffing, where it doesn't really make any sense. And you're just hoping that your video is going to show up or be suggested by YouTube because of the specific keywords. Do not do this. Also be note that YouTube does not allow anything that artificially increases the numbers of views, likes, comments, or other metrics by using automatic systems. If you hire someone to promote your channel, their decisions may impact your channel. Here's the other one that I mentioned here, offering to subscribe to another creator's channel only if they subscribe to your channel, sub for sub. And a little bonus bonus one here for you. If you're posting content that is impersonating another channel, meaning it's intended to look like someone else is posting it or a channel that copies another channel's profile, background, or overall look and feel in such a way that makes it look like someone else's channel. It doesn't have to be 100% identical, but as long as the intent is clear to copy the other channel. And YouTube gives a bunch of examples of what that looks like right here. Three strikes in 30 days and your YouTube channel will be terminated. If you do see any channel that is doing this, you can cover over these three dots right here. 
and you can report the YouTube channel. Spam or misleading. If we click that, click report. Of course, I'm not going to report vidIQ, but that's something that you can do as a viewer and a content creator. And one more bonus tip here for you, playlist policy. Playlists are huge and are a great way to grow your YouTube channel. However, sometimes playlists can contain content that's not allowed on the platform and can cause harm to the community. Overall, if you are a good human creating honest content for people, then you should not have to worry about any of these things. Click the video on screen now if you want to learn six proven ways to make money with your YouTube channel. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.